Hello doctors, this is Dr. Malika and our today's topic of discussion is none other than NCIMS new guidelines about national eligibility test for teachers. Yeah, it's NTET means National Teachers Eligibility Test. So uh, previously also NCIMS has given some guidelines on 20th of December 2023, which were about the basic eligibility of NTET exam. But as of right now, uh, NCIMS has given the eligibility, the pattern of the exam, the syllabus of the exam, and uh, who are the eligible candidate to give this exam. So basically, the doctors who had completed their UG and after PG, they are wishing to join as an assistant professor or associate professor or as a professor in any of the college, they must have to clear this eligibility criteria and they have to crack this NTET exam. So what this guideline includes? So basically, their main motive is to introduce some strategic teachers who can deal with all education policies and who can deal with adult learners of uh, Indian system of clinical medicines. Then uh, what are the criteria, what is the guideline and who are eligible for this NTET exam? So let me give you a brief knowledge about this exam. So the minimum criteria is UG exam. Minimum criteria is UG exam for Yunani, for Siddha, for Homeopathy, for Ayurveda, for all the students. Additionally, if they can do their PG, then it is also in the eligibility criteria. Next point is, the students who had done their 2.5 years of PG, who are pursuing their PG and they had completed uh, 2.5 years of their PG are eligible to give this examination. Then if uh, you are qualified, like there will be an exam with 100 questions, 100 multiple choice questions, and you will be provided with 120 minutes. And addition, adding to it, there is a good point that in the eligibility test, there will be no negative marking. Yeah, there will be no negative marking. 100 questions will be there. Within 120 minutes, you need to complete your exam. And you have to score minimum 50%. If you are, uh, if you are scoring 50% in your examinations, then you will be eligible to become, to apply uh, for the assistant professor role or associate professor role or professor role in any of the college in India. So uh, let me just show you uh, the guidelines which are given by NCIMS so that points will be more clear to all of you. Yeah, so uh, what what is the basic background of this test? This is for, this is by NCIMS Act 2020. And they are uh, the eligible candidate, as I had discussed with you, uh, the minimum standard is UG and minimum standard is UG for Yunani, for Siddha and uh, the students who had done their PG in Ayurveda, they are eligible to do, uh, to appear in this examination. And uh, the rationals of this NTET uh, is uh, the main uh, diverse, like they are uh, able to deal with the diversified students of different states or different culture. And they are eligible to impact the knowledge of expertise and uh, execute the masteries of the subject. And a set of high expectations for all students and encourage them to uh, achieve their goal. So this is the basic purpose of to introduce this exam. And as I told you, like eligibility will be minimum, minimum will be UG and maximum will be the PG students who had completed 30 months or 2.5 years of their PG are eligible for this examination. 
and structure and content like what will be the structure of the exam so the basic structure of this exam will be similar to ctet exam like uh, the basic syllabus is similar with the b ed students so if you want to proceed uh, with your preparations then you can just refer some books or some uh, syllabus from b ed students and uh, i will definitely suggest to go through the ctet examinations pattern so the basic things are uh, there will be 100 multiple choice question within 120 minutes you need to uh, clarify all the things and 50 percent is the qualified marks and what will be the slavers so they had just divided entire paper it will be in bilingual hindi as well as in english and it will be having some units and entire syllabus is related with the teaching schedule or education system. So there will be some teaching and training part. There will be communication part to uh, have a classroom communication and to deal with the adults and their questions and mass medias and all. Then class management will be there. Assess, uh, assessment methods and educational technologies will be there and educational uh, psychology andragogy uh, and uh, pedagogy and then there will be the policies of government of india like uh, national education policy 2020 or digital initiative or national credit framework so all will be the part of your examination basically it's an aptitude based examination which is totally depends upon the educational system and education so uh, the entire syllabus is related uh, with the beard uh, syllabus. So you can just refer their examination pattern and their syllabus for all those points. Or you can join our classes, uh, which are recently announced for specifically for this course. And uh, what will be the uh, applicability for this, uh, for this examination after qualifying this entity exam? Anyone can be qualified for assistant professor, associate professor, or professor role, as I had stated previously. And frequency of the sentence exam, it will be uh, conducted every May month of every year. So, uh, like, there will be a question in your mind whether the 2024 batch need to... Uh, need, need to give this exam or not, whether any examination is being conducted on 2024 or not. So let me just be clear with this statement given by the NCIMS guidelines that NTET 2024, uh, like all the notifications for this examination will be provided shortly. So surely your examination for 2024 is going to be happening this year. And uh, what will be the frequency? As I told you, every year you can give your examination in every month of May. And uh, if uh, you had qualified this examination once, then you, uh, you will be eligible for 10 years. So within these 10 years, you need to join any college as an assistant professor or a professor. Otherwise, uh, if you haven't joined any of the college, then after 10 years, you need to uh, give this exam again. So once again, you need to qualify the examination. Then only you are eligible to uh, join as a professor or, uh, or any of these roles. So this NTET may be appear uh, in any number of times to obtain the eligibility of teaching professor. And uh, basically what they will provide you if you had scored 50% of marks or more than 50% and you are a qualified PG degree holder, then what you need to do, you can download your NTET certificate from NCIMS site and just you need to upload your degree. And if you are not having any uh, degree, like you are just pursuing your PG and uh, in between you had qualified the examination, then uh, within uh, the given time frame, you need to attach your uh, provisional degree or provisional certificate uh, to download this uh, 
NDET certificate. And uh, this certificate will be helpful for joining any of the college uh, under NCIMS provisions. So basically, this is all about the eligibility test, which is going to be conducted by NCIMS in upcoming May. So all the very best and just tie your belts up and start uh, learning all the objectives, uh, objectives from today itself. Thank you so much.